Hello everyone, we have here exponential equation, 27 to the power of x squared minus 9 to the power of x squared equals 3 to the power of x squared. And obviously we'll be solving for the value of x that will satisfy the equation. And before we start, for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting videos. Thank you very much. And now let's start solving. So in this video, I'll be using substitution method to solve for the value of x. And uh, before we do that, if you notice, all the bases have their own similarities on them. So this can be converted to a base of 3, likewise on here. So we will do that. So the equation now becomes 27 can be written the same way as on the base 3. That is 3 cubed to the power of x squared minus 9 can be converted into base 3 also so that is 3 squared raised to the power of x squared equals 3 to the power of x squared and now the equation can be written the same way as 3 to the power of x squared cubed minus 3 to the power of x squared is squared and moving this to the left side that will be minus 3 to the power of x squared. And on the exponent, we use the formula exponent rule. That is, a raised to m raised to n is equal to a raised to n raised to m. And this is the same way equal to a to the power of n times m. Okay. So let's go back to our equation. So if you notice, our exponent are interchanged or switch places. That would be the same since these are both the same exponent as expressed by this formula. Switching places and in the end, we'll be multiplying the exponent the same way. So either left or right or interchange or switch places, it will be the same. Here on the right side, this must be equal to zero. So if you notice, the base are the same now. So from here, I'm introducing another variable to represent 3 to the power of x squared. So let's define that as y. Let's say y now is equal to 3 to the power of x squared. So we'll be representing this value. So here the equation now becomes putting y in here. So that is y cubed minus, that is y squared minus y equals 0. And from here, if you notice, we can factor out y over here since all the terms contain y. So we have here now y times the quantity y squared y. Factoring out y, that will become 1, and then this is equal to 0. And now we can equate this to 0. So this is y equals to 0. And the trinomial y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. Now let's recall that uh, y is just a substituted variable in place of here of 3 to the power of x squared. So we have here now value of y is 3 to the power of uh, x squared substituting this value of y as 0. So this is 3 to the power of x squared equals 0. If we take the log on both sides of this equation we cannot get this value of y as 0 because it will be undefined. So let's say if we put ln of our natural logarithm of 3 to the power of x squared is equal to natural logarithm of 0. This natural logarithm of 0 is undefined. So that is undefined. Here, natural logarithm of 0 is undefined since uh, we cannot get 0 or we can never get a zero by raising a, a base of anything to a power of anything else. So this is simply undefined. All right, so we cannot use this value of y as zero on here. So we're discarding this value of y to the zero. So we'll be using this. So from here, we'll be using the quadratic formula to find for the value of y. So we have the equation over here now, y squared minus y minus 1 equals 
zero. We're using the quadratic formula. The coefficient, we need to get those coefficients. This is one over here, and one over here, and one under. That is A, this is B, and this is C. So Y is equal to minus B, this is minus one, minus, minus one, plus or minus, a square root of b squared. So negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 1. And all divided by 2 times a is 1. Simplify that. So this minus uh, negative 1 is positive 1 plus and minus is square root of negative 1 squared is 1 minus uh, 4 times negative 1 is 4 so so that is 1 plus 4 is 5 so that is square root of 5 2 times 1 is 2 so divide by 2 so that is the value of y 1 plus or minus is square root of 5 divided by 2 and from here we have two roots of 5 positive square root of 5 and negative square root of 5 so from here we'll be just taking the positive root of 5 so we can have the value of y as positive all right since the negative one we cannot choose the negative value of y since uh, we cannot uh, get the logarithm of negative number all right so we're taking that positive root of 5 positive square root of 5 all right so from here now so y will be taking that value as 1 plus a square root of 5 divided by 2. So we'll be using this value. We have here now the value of y. And let's recall that the value of y is equal to 3 to the power of x squared. 3 to the power of x squared equals 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So in here we just take common logarithm. So we have logarithm of 3 to the power of x squared equals logarithm, common logarithm of this amount, 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. We're taking down the exponent as coefficient. So we have here now x squared log of 3 equals log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. We're taking the value of x squared over here. That means we're dividing the whole equation with log of 3. So we'll just end up canceling it. So we have here now the value of x is squared, by, by the way. So x squared is equal to so logarithm of this quantity, 1 plus square root of 5, divided by 2, all divided by logarithm of 3. Take the value of x, we're squaring both sides of the equation. So we came up cancelling that. So we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of this whole thing. The logarithm of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, all divided by logarithm of 3. So this is our exact answer. And yet, once again, we have two values, two roots of this amount that is positive and negative. So we're taking both positive and negative values of x. And uh, we are here at this point where we would like to check our answers to verify if we did it right or wrong. So we get the numerical value of this just for the sake of checking our answer. So the numerical value of x, or in decimal form, x is equal to... So they have positive negative 0.6618. All right. Now substitute this numerical value of x to the original equation. 27 to the power of x squared minus 9 to the power of x squared equals 3 to the power of x squared. We are now checking our answer. Evaluating this, uh, the value of the equation, we're putting the value of x. And uh, since the exponents are x squared, so we'll be squaring this and putting it in here. And the first term is equal to 27 to the power of x squared. That is equal to 4.236 and minus the second term, 9 to the power of x squared. That is 2.618. And 
the third term is this equal to 1.618 so subtracting this part this comes out to 1.618 and the right side is exactly the same 1.618 so this just confirms our answer is correct x positive negative 0.6618 or this exact value so this is the exact value this is the approximate value all right so our final answer and so that's all for now and for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet i would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting and informative videos have a great day everyone thank you for watching i will see you on the next video bye